I got mail. Yay. Where is it? Here, from Canada. It's like proper happy mail. Yay. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a whole package with tea. This is from my friend Sophie. Oh, it's so nice. That's all gonna go straight into my ephemera box. <gasps> Stickers! Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. This is too cute. Oh, I tore the sticker on the outside off. They're like moons. Ooh, maps. I love these. <gasps> Pride ones. Yay. And little pandas. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm so... I have proper brain fog like today and yesterday. I've been having really bad headaches, but when this came in the mail, I just wanted to show you all because I'm so excited, but I really, <laughs> I'm not having a great day. Let's unwrap this. So this is my order from Jackson's, which came way earlier than I expected. They said something like, five to nine working days for dispatch, but I think I only ordered this last week. I'm so excited. And I've, <laughs> I've forgotten what I ordered. Okay, what's this, what's this? Oh yes, oh of course. Okay, I got a replacement cadmium red, cadmium red deep because I use that a lot. That's, this is my, uh, my nearly empty one. Yeah, I love it. And this this paint, like it's only a tiny bottle, but it goes really far. Like it goes a long way. Um, and then I got some more Liquitex acrylic gouache uh, in black because I feel like um, it will be really nice to use this on uh, like polymer earrings. And I just, you know, I black and white are good colors to have in every single type of paint. Um, that you use. Um, the white one is out of stock pretty much everywhere, apart from on Am Amazon where it's like five quid more expensive than usual. So I'm going to just wait until it's in stock again at a reasonable price. And then I also got, I got myself a set of Poscas. I got myself the whole set that's got like, how many colors is this? 16? Yeah, because I wanted all of the rainbow colors because I want to do rainbow earrings. So yeah, it's got like, it's got everything and I'm going to do my little, the little rainbow earrings. I'm going to do them with this because I know that having like a thin tip, and look, they even have like stones and stuff as, a, as an example of what you can paint stuff, what you can use them on. I'm not very articulate today, but I am super excited about these three things. Oh my god, I almost like threw away the packaging. And then I realized um, I ordered also some um, dip pen. What do you call them? I can only th I can only think of the Dutch word. That's what happens when you forget what you ordered. You almost throw away the things you ordered with the packaging. All right, yeah, it's going really well. Talk to you later. <laughs>
It's Saturday morning. It's 10 past 10 in the morning. I just said it was the morning. The most challenging thing to me about the weekend, about it being Saturday, time off, is to feel like this day belongs to me. Because I was noticing myself already kind of feeling like, oh, the day doesn't belong to me. I've got to do this, this and this. And I was pondering the difference between obligations and, you know, the objective truth outside myself. Like, I am a mum, I have kids, I have a house, you know, there's things to do. But also, what is it that I'm doing? Like, when is it me who is making obligation some kind of objective truth rather than something that I choose to do because nobody's telling me you need to do this this and this it's me telling myself but somehow feeling like it's other people telling me and that way you start living a life that isn't your own very quickly but why like I need to like I'm trying to kind of see that it's actually me doing that and I'd love to like jump out of bed with that feeling of like the whole day is my own and I don't have that feeling but I want that feeling and I was just talking to Andrew about it and he put it really nicely he was saying like confusing oh, I don't remember the words he used he was confusing responsibility with obligation or something he didn't use the word responsibility it was something else commitment refu uh, confusing commitment and obligation philosophy with Iris on a Saturday morning yo <laughs> one of those super random vlogs again isn't it let's make a gin and tonic mashed potatoes, steamed cauliflower, gravy, and uh, some vegetarian stuff. this film earlier which was pretty cool it's got this really awesome artwork in it like it's about this teenage girl who creates a zine and um, it's like it's just really inspiring and it makes me want to make a zine except um, she does it because she has something to say and I know this is going to sound stupid because obviously I make vlogs and online content but I don't feel like I have anything to say if I made a zine, like, what would I make a zine about? I don't know. Leave your suggestions in the comments. Not, <laughs> not that I'll probably do something um, that doesn't come from inside myself. But, like, you know, what should I make a zine about? It just looks... I love the kind of, like, the aesthetic. It's, it's, so, it's so 90s, I guess. It's very mixtape and stuff. I like it, but I don't really know what to do with it. Maybe I don't have to do anything with it. Maybe I just had to enjoy the film, which I did. I must have so many shots of me switching on the camera and then going like this. Hello, I'm back. Obviously, from your point of view, I was never anywhere other than here. But I have had uh, such a difficult week. I 
was fighting lots of headaches and fatigue and it was just like a real struggle but I wasn't like identifiably ill but like there was definitely something up and I am finally feeling a bit better which is just such a relief because like okay having one bad day it's like okay you wake up the next day and like you're having a good day again or like you know it's kind of like ups and downs but when it kind of goes on for several days I start doubting myself I start really kind of feeling like oh, it's the beginning of the end <laughs> I, it's just my brain does that um, and so I'm finally just feeling more energetic in my body and in my mind I had like horrible kind of brain fog where I just couldn't couldn't get myself to do anything or feel enthusiastic about anything and I'm sure it's like a, a physical thing compounded by a mental thing or a mental thing compounded by a physical thing whatever um, but yeah I'm finally just feeling like myself again and Oh, it feels it feels so good and I um, have been working on something very exciting I am super excited and I'm not gonna tell you yet I'm just gonna show you what I'm going to be doing right now and then uh, maybe you can guess it and then I will uh, chat to you about it later <laughs> realized by now or maybe you haven't I don't know that I am working on a patreon um, this is something that so many people have recommended to me over the last two or three years like oh why don't you do a patreon and I'm, I've always been like I don't have time um, I have too many other commitments not enough reliable time to dedicate to something that has to be done every month but um, I I think I do now um, because of COVID I haven't really been my other job hasn't been so busy and so I've been able to dedicate a lot more time to my art and it feels so good um, because you know this is really what I want to be doing and I kind of I don't want to go back to life the way it was before I want to keep going with this I want to you know I want to spend more and more time on this and I really feel like patreon is going to um, be this amazing thing that can help me with that so uh, you saw me uh, thinking about like the different rewards for the tiers and I'm quite excited one of the things that I'm really excited about is you know I teach on a lot of courses like collaborative courses the lessons that I provide for that course uh, for those courses are usually the usage rights reside with that course for the duration of the course which is usually a year and then afterwards the usage rights uh, reverts back to me so um, if you've ever been on my course website you will see that I re-release my life book lessons my book of days lessons um, my art journal summer school lessons so you can buy them again but what I'm going to be doing is one of the tiers on patreon is going to basically include those courses so if you sign up for I think it's going to be the third tier those courses are going to be included for free which I'm very excited about because I think that will be really really good value because I put my heart and soul into those lessons I really work very hard on making them very like well produced and like really full of information and stuff like that so um, I was quite happy with that idea other than that um, I've got loads of post-it notes here with loads of ideas I want to make sure that I don't overwhelm myself and commit myself to too many things uh, which is definitely something I'm at the risk of but so I'll just be thinking about it but I wanted to ask for your help because right now I am brainstorming uh, T 
tier names. And I don't want to just do like tier one, tier two, tier three, that's boring. So I was about to brainstorm and then I thought, okay, I'll ask you. I have a tentative idea, which is a, uh, a tier that is based on art supplies. Like, you know, tier one can be crayons. Like, what up crayons? I don't know. It, that sounds a bit silly. Um, but obviously art supplies don't have the tier levels inherent in them. Not like the way you might do with, I don't know, like ducklings and ducks and mallards. This is getting a bit ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> Not gonna have ducks. Oh, but like, you know, you could have frogs. Like you could have frog spawn. This doesn't sound good. This is already not going well. Uh, frog spawn, tadpoles, frogs. I'm also not going to do that, but you get the idea. Like what I'm trying to kind of, where you have tier names that are kind of evocative and they have the sense of the tiers, but they're not just like boring old descriptors, um, but are a bit more kind of creative. So if you have any ideas of what I should be calling the tiers, please comment. Um, I'd be really, really grateful for, you know, your thinking with me. There's definitely going to be a tier in which uh, you will get original art. Uh, that's going to be one of those tiers that has uh, only limited amounts of spots, you know, discounts, early access, stuff like that. I'm really excited. I'm quite nervous as well. Um, I am really going to... I, I'm such a... I usually find it really difficult to take my time with things. As you can tell from my art style, I like to just go like bish bash bomb. But I really want to, um, you know, take my time thinking about this and really, you know, uh, put thought into it and... I don't know, like take it seriously. That's really important to me. Um, but yeah, I, um, I'm really excited. I really hope you're excited too. I have talked before about how affordability is really impor important to me. Um, so there's definitely going to be like an exciting kind of uh, uh, budget tier. Uh, and then there's also going to be like the um, more expensive ones where you just get more and more um, and so hopefully there'll be something suitable for every person who would like to support me if that's something that you'd like to do. It feels awkward asking but yeah I don't want that inner voice that I talk about to hold me back so I am going to do this. I am going to push through the feeling of like don't deserve an awkwardness and I'm gonna do this. Oh, and obviously, if you have any suggestions uh, as to what you would like to see in terms of rewards, please let me know because obviously I, uh, I'm i going from what I think would be nice in the rewards, but if there's something specific that you feel like, okay, that would be the clincher, that would be the thing that makes me sign up, then please let me know. I would, you know, that would be awesome if you could let me know. Mm.